In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to build a tape head demagnetizer in less than five minutes using scrap parts that you probably already have. This is a no-cost demagnetizer that works as good as anything you can buy. Let's check this out. Okay, guys, listen up, because I'm going to teach you guys tonight how to make yourself a tape head demagnetizer on the cheap. Um, I had one a long time ago that I made and I loaned it out to somebody and they never returned it and I haven't bothered replacing it but everybody seems to suggest that I should be demagnetizing the heads on my tape decks and this is true for the playback head for sure on three head decks because it doesn't ever get the AC bias that the record head and the erase head does which will help mitigate magne magnetization but all you need to do all you need to build yourself a, a basic cheap and dirty uh, head demagnetizer is an AC magnet basically and how we're going to do this is we're going to use an old OEM power adapter now it must be an AC output you see this one here is rated at 18 volts AC at one amp a DC output will not work because that is going to just create a magnet a polarized magnet we need to create an AC degaussing magnet so I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut the end off this plug because I don't need it and I just need to make myself a magnet for degaussing and what I'm going to use I'm going to use an old motor out of an old cordless drill actually I think this was a little cordless air or little air compressor for a car but like a tire flater that uh, that failed but we need the magnet wire on here so I'm just going to take this motor and rip it apart so that I can get the proper wire out of it. Well, that was supposed to come apart a little better than that, but this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the wire in here. So I'm gonna unravel the wire off of this rotor, basically. And we're gonna make our own. I could actually just connect this up and put the AC field to this, and this could actually be a magnet for demagnetizer, but I'm gonna, gonna wrap it on a ferrous screw that way I can get in there and demagnetize so first thing we need to do is we need to unwind the wire from here so I'm just going to unwind the wire from the rotor and what I will end up with is I will end up with some pieces of magnet wire which I will then be able to wind onto here so now I've ended up with one long piece of magnet wire the, the, the beauty of the magnet wire is it's got a uh, it's got a enamel insulation on it so it's not going to short out so now we're going to take this and we're going to wrap it around the screw and just create a nice coil on the screw here so let's do that doesn't have to be pretty all we're trying to do is create an electrical field. And then we're going to connect this to the secondary of our transformer. And when we plug in the transformer, this will become our demagnetizing tool. So now I've got the wire all wrapped around the screw here I just have to remove the insulation from the end so that I can solder it onto my power supply then I will just attach the wire here to the end I'm just going to thread this under here so that it doesn't uh, unravel And you can see I've got it tinned so I can I've scraped the insulation off on one side of it so I can hook it up and solder it
bring my heat shrink tubing up on one side. I only put it on one side because I just want to prevent a short circuit. I'll tape it up when I'm done. A little too much solder here. It's kind of sticking up a bit, so we'll just take that a little bit down there off the end. Now, if I want to test this, I can show you that it works. If I hold this near my little CRT screen over here, it should distort the picture. So let me plug this thing in, and we'll hold it near my little TV screen, and we'll see the picture is, see the picture? That's because I've created a magnetic field, uh, a racing magnetic field. And you can see what it's doing to the picture. And this will get hot, so it's drawing a fair bit of current. So we know that we've got a lot of current going through here. We're creating a magnetic field that will be more than enough to erase a magnetic field built up in a cassette deck. So all I need to do now is uh, get a cassette deck and we'll demagnetize it. So to demagnetize the head, all I need to do is turn on my demagnetizer. And of course, you never turn it on and off while you're in the vicinity of the head because that's a good way to magnetize it. We're going to turn it on, we're going to bring it near the head and not necessarily touch the head, but I'm going to bring the blunt end here near the head. I'll even put it in place so you can hear the effect of this on the, uh, on the amplifier. So let's put it into play and I bring it in here and you'll hear it hum. I, I just, I just hold, I just take the head mag magnet in like that. Move it around the heads, move it around the caps and shaft. I don't have to touch it, but I just have to move it around here. And you can feel this thing. I mean, this thing is strong, really strong. And then I'm just going to remove this slowly. So you're going to go in slowly, close to it, not touch, but just bring it in close. And then move it away and then unplug the power from it because if you're using a short piece of wire like I am, this is going to get warm pretty quick. But that's it. That's all you got to do. I'm going to wrap this up with electrical tape to keep the winding from falling apart. If I had a larger piece of heat shrink, I would put it on there, but I don't. But that's it. Quick and dirty head demagnetizer you can make in five minutes. You just need some enamel wire, a nail or a bolt that's ferrous, and a AC output transformer. That's all you need. You can make one yourself in no time. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. Bye for now.